What is going on everybody? This is Derek Sims here back with a new build video. So yesterday on Twitter, I have seen one of my new friends, Insecure Simmer or Shane, build a brand new house in his game using only base game content. What that means is he didn't use any custom content or pack content. It was just basic base game content that came with The Sims when it was first released. And he said that building his house broke him. So <laughs> that gave me a good laugh. And I went and looked at his house and it looks like something I have seen in real life. And it truly is magnificent. I highly recommend that you go check it out on the gallery. His ID is Insecure Summer. I'll make sure to have a link to it below in the description. And be sure to give the guy a follow on Twitter. He deserves it. He, like Many of you guys are awesome creators. He's one of them. Everybody I've interacted with or have seen on Twitter or even the gallery have been very awesome creators. So I'm hoping to promote you guys more because you guys truly deserve it. You guys are truly awesome. So with that being said, I when I first saw Shane's little promotion of his challenge... It's not really a challenge. I just made it a challenge to myself to take on that kind of build because I've never really made a house with base game objects. So here we are now. <laughs> this build took approximately two hours to do. It was the hardest two hours of my life from six in the morning to eight in the morning. And girl... I am so glad I called off work last night to get at least four hours of sleep before doing this because what the heck am I doing with my life? Um, <laughs> no need to really worry about me calling off of work. It's I took a day off for mental health reasons because of everything going on with COVID-19 and being an essential worker during this difficult time. Obviously, the stress is going to get to some of us, and with me especially, going through some mental issues right now, uh, yeah, had to be done. So, what better way to chill and take my mind off things than playing Sims? So, what you see here is I'm trying to make a layout of my first floor. You can see we have the outside. I got a little deck in the front, deck in the back, raised the foundation a little bit because I wanted to add some height. And I have an idea what the gardening later on. I think I want to do wraparound bushes. Um, we'll figure that out. Right now, I'm thinking this house is going to be for a single simoleon or a young couple simoleon. Not married or married, just married and have no kids. So literally it's going to be for one or two sims. And I'm just going to get really creative with this because nothing is off limits. Thankfully, this is not the challenge where you got a, you know, a little limit on how much money you have to make a house for a simoleon. Because let me tell you, yesterday night, why did I say yesterday night? Last night, I actually attempted to take on a challenge from Vixella to build a house with only 5,000 simoleons. And after an hour and a half... And so many lot bulldozers, uh, that wasn't happening. So I do not recommend that challenge unless you're really ballsy and want to try something fun to you. Personally, I would not try that again. If it was like 10,000 civilians, I can see myself trying it later. It's being a trying. I'm struggling with this bookcase. I thought about having it like partially in a wall, partially out of a wall, but the way I'm looking at it, besides having this diagonal TV and fireplace, which looks jank, having half the books, you know, in the wall just didn't make sense to me. So as you can see throughout this video, I'm going to be struggling a lot with trying to figure out what furniture works and doesn't work. What kind of scheme am I going for? What kind of decorations am I going for? I'm basically just putting together a house. Duh. But I'm also trying to create something spacious, something realistic. And honestly, something as good as Shane's. Because honestly, 
I really could not get over the fact of how amazing his house was. I, I just love it so much. And with me trying to expand my horizons on decorating and whatnot, it's something else. I mean, you can see I'm trying to figure out how to put some fake plants in my living room. <laughs> and I'm also working with the, the BB Move Objects cheat, which has been one of the most helpful cheats Besides mother load, mother load and BB move objects are the two cheats that have saved my life ever since joining this community. Although I have known mother load for about a decade, BB move objects um, about a month. So I praise whoever came up with that because <laughs> what the heck would I do without BB move objects? Really, I see people do it all the time and I'm like, how? How do you do it? I can't do it, but how do you do it? What I want to know how you can do is not have much base game windows and doors that actually look nice. I mean, I get that it's basic, so that's why it was in the base. But at the same time, they could have done a little bit better and included more designs. And I kind of wish I was able to include custom content for this because I have some new windows that were kind of popping, but you know, it is what it is. So <laughs> I'm not going to argue with that. Um, the thing I'm arguing with is something I'm really glad y'all didn't hear me on while I was building this. I kept arguing with myself on how big I wanted my kitchen. Whether if I wanted it out in the open like this, or if I wanted it in that tiny room. I kept saying, no, that room's going to be a bathroom. No, this open space is going to be the kitchen. I just, I kept going back and forth on what I wanted it to be. So I decided that that is going to be the main floor half bath. It's going to have a shower in it, obviously, because what bathroom doesn't have a shower? Like, if you have a guest over, they can crash on the couch, and then they can go take a shower downstairs. They don't need to go up to your bedroom, the master bedroom on the second floor, to use your master bathroom. Which, uh, if anybody knows that struggle, just say so. <laughs> I really do like how this kitchen is looking. It looks like something that should be in an apartment. I wish my apartment here looked like that, like that nice, because... Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Figuring out what I want to do with the wallpaper later. I have an idea in mind, but I want to save the wallpaper thing in the flooring till near the end. I think I want to do like paneling. Normally I like to go for tile in the kitchen. I might do that with the floor. Maybe I'll do wood because who doesn't like a good wood? But also, who doesn't like a good old-fashioned wood paneling to bring out a little pop, especially with the rustic colors in the cabinets? So, with that being said, I think we're done with the kitchen for now, and we're going to focus on getting this half bath started and finished very, very quickly. Obviously, we need a toilet, and I'm trying to figure out what kind of shower should be in there. I keep thinking I want a shower-tub combo or an actual standalone shower, but... I don't know. I even struggled with this upstairs in the main master bathroom. The main bathroom. The master bathroom. And I'm just going to say it now. This video is full of mess. Like, I'm so messy in this video. I keep adding things and taking them away because I'm not happy with it. Or it's just too extra. And honey, there's nothing wrong with being too extra. But at the same time, it could be a little overwhelming. And you're going to see what I mean in a hot second because I tried adding, <laughs> I have tried adding little, oh, what is it called? Clothing racks? Clothing, those, whatever you call them. Like hangers, hangers, hangers. It's one in the afternoon at the time of recording. I'm slap happy. Yeah. See, I'm adding all of those hangers. Men and women's clothes. That's a lot. One only needs at least one or two. But here I am. I'm adding two more again. All men's. Why? I don't know why. Why just men's? 
Again, I don't know why. Same thing with the shoes. Why men's and women's? Uh, why four? Uh, that's a good question. I cannot answer. <laughs> I at least leave it with two. Change the color so that way it's different. And, you know, it looks like it works. What works also is while finding artwork for that little area, I found those set of knives, which, hallelujah. I think if I were to add that wood paneling wallpaper that I saw in my vision for this kitchen, that will really tie it together. Now, don't ask me why I placed that specific painting there. I just, I thought about doing a family little corner of portraits of a family, but you can't customize that. So we're just going to leave it with that. <laughs> what the heck am I doing with my life right now? <laughs> oh God, there's so much I need to work on still. I mean, right now it, it, it at least looks semi-decent downstairs. Now upstairs, I, I'm a sucker for open floor spaces and I want half of my second floor to be an open space like you can look down into the living room and you you know the stairs and just I I think it's pretty I think it's something I would love in my own home some days to have an open open floor upstairs that looks downstairs especially with adding the light over the stairwell living room on the second floor it shadows down to the first floor, which makes me thankful that's possible because, yeah. What I wish was possible was that base game had laundry. That little room that I just deleted and brought back, I was going to make that a laundry room. I was going to make that a closet and a laundry room. But there is no laundry in base. It is just the pack. So... Screw it. We're just going to forget about it. And we're just going to have dirty clothes all the time with no way of getting them cleaned. Unless we decide to put them in the bath or a shower or a sink or actually go to a laundromat, which I don't think I've seen a single laundromat in any of the worlds here in Sims. Which shouldn't that be a thing? What I wish was a thing was these lamps staying on the table, like not hovering over the table a little bit. But another thing would be like having it stick out from the table. I've seen, I've had a table like this before, but not like this, but like where part of a lamp is sticking out from the center of the table. I thought it was the coolest thing ever, but at the same time, it just doesn't look right. So we're just gonna have lampless tables. I mean, especially if we have a ceiling light above our bed, we should be fine. But, you know, it is what it is. Now, trying to figure out how I wanted to do the closet, I needed to keep it simplistic. I feel like I'm going to be saying simplistic again. Great. A lot. Great. <laughs> but I wanted it to be in a space that fits. And I didn't want to put it in the master bathroom because I wanted that to be dedicated as a bathroom only and keep it nice and big. And I like that, especially with the three vanity sink, the three vanity sink, God dang it. <laughs> the three counter vanity with the one sink. Now trying to decorate this little area killed me. I will admit this killed me. I tried putting down a toothpaste holder and some candles and a soap dispenser, and I wanted it to be on the sink. As you can see, I'm struggling with trying to put it on the sink. Even when the sink's not there, I just wanted the soap dispenser to fit. God dang it. But, you know, the game has other plans, so I'm just not going to sit around and jack with it. So it is going to be off to the side, and we can just suffer and reach and... Get soap and toothpaste all over our counter. Oh, man. Let me tell you, ever since I learned BB Move Objects, I have been in love with doing these towels on the shelf thing. I did it in my last video for Vixella's second shell challenge. And 
I really love that I can place the towels there. I know there's already a preset towel rack with towels on it, but I want to do it myself because I like blue and purple because they're my favorite colors besides black. And yeah. What doesn't make sense is trying to figure out the shower. You know how there was that one shower option that was like very cheap and it wasn't apparently base game as I'm looking now that you can add a shower with just the pipes and that's it. Yeah, I was trying to go for that, but they didn't have it in base. So I was trying to wing it. It wasn't working. So we're just going to go with the tub. The master bathroom has a tub, guest bathroom has a shower. Who has priority and luxury, right? Uh, I don't know at this point. <laughs> I think what I want to do for the bathtub is I've seen this in actual homes where it's like real, it's like high, it's a level higher than the actual floor. But as you can see, that ain't working. Like that just took away my walls and it just didn't look right. Like, you know how the bathtub is on a higher platform in the bathroom than the actual floor? I know that probably doesn't make sense. Probably like how I have a laundry basket in here, yet we don't have any laundry facilities. It's okay. Just breathe. What I really wish I could do is add something to that second shelf. As you can see, I keep trying to put like a flower there. Or I tried another set of towels, but flowers more specifically. I just got fed up and I put it on the counter. <laughs> that second shelf is a pain in the butt. So forget it. <laughs> right now, I think we are at the point where we can just start decorating the entire house. The the walls, the flooring, because, you know, we're getting near the end of the video, finally. And I'm trying to create a look. I think I want both bathrooms to match. And I want the bedroom to be relaxing. I don't want to do like a light color like normal. I want to do something different. And apparently this wallpaper is a base wallpaper. Who would have thought? And also, who would have thought that the pride flag was not custom content? Thank you, Sim Gods. Because as an openly gay Simmer, hey, um, I kind of want to represent. And I would love to have that above my bed because, yeah, gay rights. Anyway, we're back to the kitchen. And like I said earlier, I don't know why I keep thinking pillars are good. I'm probably going to be getting rid of a lot of pillars later on in this video. Um, <laughs> but I'm starting to think about my kitchen, how I want the walls to match the cabinets and complement the floor. I think I'm going to do the wood. Yeah, I like that. I really like that. I just got to change the arrangement a little bit. Move the stove over. Move the sink over. Apparently my phone said it's starting to rain. No, it is not. Forget about that. <laughs> oh, goodness. I also kind of want to do an accent wall. Like, the brick that you see me putting down around the stairs... That's not how I'm going to have it for the whole main floor. I just want it around the stairs. And what I want to do is be putting down a light and warm, inviting color in the living room, dining room. Because it just, I think it would look right. And it would be, yeah, see, like that. Ooh, maybe around, no. We'll think about it for a second. I like that. I do. I'm starting to not really like the pillars, though. I might just take them away. Yeah. I think I need to take some pillars away before I finish this build. <laughs> Those pillars in the corners just don't look right. I mean, at the stairs, it doesn't look right. Around the kitchen, by those 
by the sliding doors, it, it looks fine because it separates the wallpaper, like where it ends and stuff, and kind of naturally blends in. I don't know how to explain it better than that, but like some of the pillars just ain't working for me. So I'm starting to feel that with the ones that are out on the patios because they're not holding up a roof of any kind. They're just there to be there. So I think those can go bye-bye. Okay, now we're getting to the nitty gritty. We're in the home stretch of the video and we are adding a few basic things. Some gardening, some landscaping shortly. And it's gotta be base. Oh, I wanted to add that love swing so badly. But then again, it's not like I'm ever gonna get a boyfriend and we can just sit on that love swing. <laughs> anyway, enough of me and my single problems. Let's get back with this. I picked pink for the flowers because it was inviting and it adds a splash of color to the walls and the lovely tannish colored frame windows and doors. I think it looks really good. And also, if you hear buzzing, that is my phone. That is Discord because apparently, even when I have Do Not Disturb on my phone activated, it still wants to let me know. <laughs> Oh, iPhones. Gotta love it, right? Just like I love that the trees I picked happen to match the ones that are already placed in the game. What I wish I knew was those little round things outside on the boulevard, how to put it around my tree to protect it. You know what I'm talking about? Like when you plant a tree, there's a weird tree protector at the base, at the trunk. If, I don't know what it's called. It's okay. Now, how does that look? I tried looking at it in every time of the day, and I like it at night. I'm a night owl, so obviously I'm going to like it at night. <laughs> I should just do my builds at night. <laughs> do it at night, and then not worry about what it looks like in daytime. It can look ugly for all that matters. But I kind of want it to look pretty, so you kind of got to see how it looks in the daytime. Because that's what really matters. But what really matters is the fact that we can't extend the fence to right on the border because I kind of wanted to add a gate. And as you can see, I'm struggling with that. So I'm probably going to have to leave it gateless and you can only get in the backyard by either hopping the bush fence or you're going to be climbing through the house. You're probably going to be climbing through the house. Which, you know, for privacy reasons, it's not a bad thing. But I still wish I had that god dang gate but we can't build right on property lines. And that's kind of jacked up. What else is jacked up is the effect of the bricks. I'm trying to make it look natural, but having the edging of some bricks fade out into the grass, I'm not a fan of, but could I have done a different brick? Yes. Could I have done dirt? Yes. Did I want to? No, because I was approaching two hours and I wanted to finish this. And of course, we're going to be really typical adding some natural dirt under the trees and under the shrubs around the house to make it look natural, to look like it's got vegetation to grow. You know, the one thing I'm really regretting now is not adding a doormat. I don't know if that's part of base or not, but if it was, I would have added a doormat to the front door because looking back now, I should have done that. I should have added a doormat. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just trying to make it look pretty. And at two hours, you're kind of done. You just want to finish up. And that's where I'm at. We are approaching the end of this video. We're just adding a few final touches in the backyard. Little grill. I thought about adding a bench. But I think I want to keep the bench on the patio and have a little seating area outside in the backyard. I thought about putting it under the tree at first, but nah. We'll just leave it big open space where people can run around if they bring their kids, a place to garden, and just, I like this. I like how this has turned out. I truly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this. I'm sorry this is a long video, but I truly hope you enjoyed it. I still think Shane's house is better than this one. Be sure to give him a follow on Twitter, on the gallery, download his house on the gallery. Check him out. 
And feel free to download this house on the gallery too. And I'll check you guys out later. Bye. And thanks for watching.